Alright, gonna show why these pop-up ads that appear on many websites are holding and hiding a satanic scam to scam you out of your money. You see, 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 10 says that the love of money is the root of all evil. And most of these scammers who put these fake ads in to steal your money are doing it for the love of money. Because the love of money is the root of all evil. People will do anything for money. People will do all kinds of horrific crimes for money. And this is motivated by the love of money. But I'm gonna read this article about an Ontario woman who is scammed nearly $2,000 after clicking on this pop-up ad. That's the kind of satanic scam that these pop-up ads contain. I'm gonna read the article, this is on CTV, ctvnews.com. As many people try to finish their online shopping in time for the holidays, experts and consumers are warning that scammers are looking for new ways to steal their money. Quote, I'm embarrassed and because I don't, I fell for it, said uh, Cindy Ferdely, Ferdely of Huntsville, Ontario, who clicked on a pop-up ad while surfing the internet. Ferdely said, and the pop-up ad appeared on her screen and looked like a giant, like this giant alligator. Looked, it lo looked like this giant alligator. Looked what it ate. I clicked on that. Uh, as soon as Federally clicked on the on the pop-up ad, her computer froze and appeared to be taken over by scammers. Yeah, it's a bunch of hacking. You're putting phishing uh, devices, phishing material on your computer. Four windows uh, come up saying you've been hacked. You've been hacked. Uh, said it all this number, said Fairly. Fairly. Fairly called the number she thought was for Microsoft, but it was actually the fraudsters who ended up taking over her computer. According to Microsoft, criminal, according to Microsoft criminals will use on-screen messages in the form of pop-up notifications, either in either the corner of your screen or in your web browser claiming you have a virus which needs immediate attention. I've gotten that myself a few times. I never bothered clicking on it because it's a satanic scam. The message uh, will warn you of some horrendous issue or threat and demand you call them right away for your safety and get the problem fixed. In Fertile's case, she was called she was called the she called the number on the screen while she thought she was speaking to him with a Microsoft employee. She was actually speaking actually speaking with the scammers who invited her, advised her to let them take control of her computer. Once they did, they, she was told her credit card had been compromised and she needed to buy gift cards to cover the amount that had been removed from her credit card. Uh, Fertile bought 1,900 in gift cards and, and gave the scammers the numbers on the back of the cards, effectively handing them over $1,900. Well, while she was told that she would be refunded the money on the gift cards by the scammers, she never heard from the scammers again. Yeah, because they're a bunch of wicked thieves. Continuing, Greg Young is the vice president of cybersecurity security at Trend Micro, a multinational multinational cybersecurity software company. He says this Microsoft scam has been circulating for many years. "Quote: Microsoft or your internet service provider will never do, or n never tr do that. Remotely try to take control of your computer, and they'll never ask for your password," said Young in an interview with CTV News Ontario. Young said that if you click on a pop-up that appears to take control of your computer, you better start. You better off shut. You better. Shut, shutting off your system, they, they had some bad wording there. You better off shutting down your system than calling. You better off shutting your sorry. You're better off shutting down your system than calling the number that the scammers suggest. Sorry, not good. I do have a bit of a reading disability, so I haven't mentioned that in other videos, uh, not that often. But I do have a bit of a reading disability, so I just do have a hard time reading stuff on my computer. It just, it just, it's a bit difficult. But this is just the easiest way to get this stuff out there. Uh, so you're saying you're better off just shutting down your system than calling the number the scammer suggests. He said the number you call will most likely take you to, the, to a criminal call center where scammers work off scripts trying to get you to give up access to your computer. These are people who often have no jobs and don't want to work and they just want to find a way to get money in illegal, in illegal methods. Again, 1 Timothy 6.10, the love of money is the root of all evil. Young said, uh, Young said a more prevalent scam leading up to the holidays is the fake delivery notice scam where criminals use emails, texts, and pop-ups to send you fake, fake shipment notifications or parcels. I've gotten those myself. I order stuff off Amazon. I've gotten that quite a lot too. You know, you, you, uh, your package is about to be shipped. I'm like, I never ordered that. Yeah, it happens to me a few times as well. More than, more than a few actually. It's happened to me quite a lot because I order a lot of stuff off Amazon. One of the most common scams you're, yeah, now are fake delivery notices where you have a DHL logo that and look realistic saying you missed this delivery, said Young. According to the Be Better Businesses Bureau, a fake shipping notice is currently the number one scam going for the holidays. The BBB said about 32% of phishing victims said they were, de they were deceived by fake email or text or pop-up meeting losses reaching up to $1,000. After about another emerging scam to watch out for is the online is the fresh sale, a pop-up ad that rushes consumers to make a quick decision to try to get a good deal on a product. Yeah, plays on your emotions and says, hey, I can get this on a deal, and then they steal all your money. 
Okay, just remember, keep that verse in mind while I was reading that. You know, First Timothy six ten: the love of money is the root of all evil. These people want money, and they're doing illegal ways to get money, because money will lead people to do anything. Money has become a god in the Western world today. You know, people have abandoned the God of the Bible and turned to money and atheism, pretty much. Because atheism and the love of money just go hand in hand. Believe me, don't kid me. Uh, that's why I say a lot of these prosperity preachers are just a bunch of religious atheists, but side issue. So yeah, just watch out for these satanic scams. It's just a uh, criminal way to get free money because people are lazy and don't want to work. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.